فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله بيبقين from verse number 123 of Surya Al-Araf Kindly keep your phones muted Keep the Musaf in front of you Maintain concentration We pray to Allah to make the session most productive to all of us Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قال فرعون آمنتم به قبل أن آذن لكم إن هذا لمكر مكرتموه في المدينة اللي تخرجوا منها أهلها فسوف تعلمون لو خدت أن أيديكم وأرجلكم من خلاف ثم لو سلبنكم أجمعين قالوا إنا إلى ربنا منقلبون وَمَا تَنْقِمُ مِنَّا إِلَّا أَنْ آمَنَّا بِآيَاتِ رَبِّنَا لَمَّا جَاءَتْنَا رَبَّنَا أَفْرِغْ عَلَيْنَا صَبْرًا وَتَوَفَّنَا مُسْلِمِينَ Said Firon, You have believed in him before that I give permission to you? إِنَّا هَذَا لَمَكَرْ Verily this is a plot, you have plotted it. Fil Madina in the city that you may evict or drive out from it Ahlaha, its people. Fasawat alamun, then soon you shall know. Surely I will cut off your hands and your feet from opposite sides. Then I shall crucify you all. They said, Verily we towards our Lord are going to return. And not you take vengeance from us, except that we have believed in the signs of our Lord when it had come to us. Rabbana afrir alayna. Our Lord, pour down upon us patience, watawaffana muslimin, and cause us to die as Muslims, <clears throat> or take away our souls in a state of Islam. فیرون نے کہا تم ایمان لائے ہو اس پر اس سے پہلے کہ میں اجازت دوں تمہیں بے شک یہ ایک سازش ہے جو تم نے سازش کی ہے شہر میں تاکہ تم نکالو وہاں سے اس کے رہنے والوں کو پس انخریب تم جان لوگے ضرور میں کاٹ دوں گا تمہارے ہاتھوں کو اور تمہارے پیروں کو مخالف سمتوں سے اور ضرور میں سولی پر چڑھاؤں گا تم سب کو انہوں نے کہا بے شک ہم ہمارے رب کی طرف ہی لوٹنے والے ہیں اور نہیں تو انتخام لیتا ہم سے سوائے اس بات پر کہ ہم نے ایمان لائے ہمارے رب کی نشانیوں پر جب وہ آگئی ہمارے پاس ہمارے رب انڈیل دے ہم پر صبر اور ہمارے روحیں خبز کرنا اسلام کی حالت میں in the last class where we had stopped was the competition between the magicians who were summoned by Firon against Musa al Islam as that explained in the last class towards the end the magicians could easily distinguish between magic and the power of Allah جادوگروں کو واضح طور پر معلوم ہو گیا کہ جو چیز موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے ان کے سامنے پیش کی وہ کوئی جادو نہیں تھا بلکہ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کی کا کرشمہ تھا اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کی کا معجزہ تھا which they could easily understand as magicians that that was not magic so the moment they saw the power of what موسیٰ علیہ السلام displayed before them فَوْلْخِيَ السَّحْرَةُ Sajidin, they all fell down in prostration and they all said, We have believed in the Lord of the worlds, Rabbi Musa wa Harun, in the Lord of Musa and Harun. That's where we stop. The moment now Firon gets to know that all these magicians whom he had summoned to compete against Musa al Islam had accepted Islam, then he grew red and blue. He became furious. وہ غصے سے بھڑک اٹھا 
and he threatens them, saying, Law khatyan aidiyakum varjulakum min khilafin, summa law sallibannakum ajmain. I will surely cut off your hands and your feet from opposite side and I will crucify you all. See the answer what the magicians give the, the, to Piron. Kalu inna ila rabbina munkhalibun. No problem. In any case, we are going to die. We are going to return to Allah. We will be honored and privileged that we are dying as martyrs for the cause of Islam. By the way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ki taraf markar lautna hai. Agar hamko tu suli chada dewe, to hamko ta shahadat ki maut milegi, to isse behtar inam humar le kya ho sakta. This is the power of faith. Ye iman ka ki khuwat hai. And further they tell him all this what you are doing is only because we have accepted Islam. So they do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep them steadfast on the path of Islam. It's very very important that we also need to do this dua for we can never know when shaitan may deceive us and make us slip from the path of Islam. We can never know. We can never remain assured that today we are on the path of Islam that we will continue to remain on it throughout our lives. Beautiful dua Muslimin. Oh Allah, pour down upon us steadfastness. Hamare under to Sabit Khabmi Atafarma. Or Hamari Jan Nikle Islam ke halat mein, Hamari Rutu Khabskar Islam ke halat mein, you cause us to die as Muslims, take away our souls in the state of Islam. And this is very, very crucial for our very existence is that we need to constantly do this dua to Allah to grant us a life of Iman and a death of Iman. This is very, very important. Iman ki zindagi de or Iman ki maut de. Yeh bar bar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala se hum dua bhi karte rana, koshish bhi karte rana. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Sabit khadmi iman ki sabit khadmi ki le bar bar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, iltija karte rana. Or hamari motho to iman ki motho. Wakhal al mala umin khomi firona tazaru musa wa khomahu liuf sidu fil ardi wa yazaraka wa ali hatak. Khala sanukatilu abna ahum wa nastahi nisa ahum. Wa inna fawkahum kahirun. And said the chiefs of the people of Musa, or oh sorry, of the people of Firon, and said the chiefs of the people of Firon, will you leave Musa and his people that they spread mischief in the land and forsake you or leave you or abandon you and your gods? Firon said, Sanukhatilu abna ahum, soon we shall kill their sons. And let live their daughters. And verily, we over them have irresistible power. Or Kaha, Sardarone, Firon ke logo me se, Kya tu chordega Musa ko, or uske logo ko, ke wo fasad macha zameen me, or wo chorde tuje or tere mabudon ko. Firon ne kaha, Sanukhatilu abnahum, and Kharib ham katal karenge unke betonko, or am dinda chodenge unke betionko, or beshak ham unpar puri kudrat rakte hai. So the, his courtiers, his cabinet ministers, and the officers, and the chiefs among his kingdom, in his kingdom, they said, Will you just leave Musa and all these magicians just like that? They will completely. Change the equation of Egypt. What are you going to do? So Firon repeats the same dialogue of his what he did at the time of the birth of Musa al-Islam. We know when Musa al-Islam, just before he was born, or just when he was born, there was a law <clears throat> enforced by Firon that among the Bani Israel, if there's going to be any male infant child going to be born, it will be put to death instantly. If it's a female infant child, it will be allowed to live. So he repeats the same order now once again and brings this order back into force. So, this is 
फिरौन का कानून जो था कि हम बनी इसराइल में पैदा होने वाले हर बच्चे को बेटे को उनके बेटों को जो हम कतल कर देंगे उनके बेटियों को हम जिंदा छोड़ेंगे वापस फिर इस कानून को उसने नाफिज किया खाला मूसा लिखा में तयन बिल्ला वस बिरो इन अर्जा यूरिस आकीबतुलमतकीन said musa to his people is ta'inu billah seek strength with allah or seek help in allah wasbiru and remain patient innal arza lillah verily the earth belongs to allah alone he causes it to inherit whomever he wishes min ibadihi among his slaves wal aqibatu lil muttaqin and the good end is for the god fearing कहा मूसा ने अपनी कौम से इस्तेम इस्तेम हासिल करो अल्लाह से या मदद हासिल करो अल्लाह से और सबर करो बेशक जमीन या अल्लाह ही की है वो वारिस बनाता है उसको जिसको वो चाहे अपने बंदों में से और अंजाम खार परहेजगारों के लिए ही है so al musa alayhi salam tells the bani israel tells the people who have accepted islam don't bother have faith in allah put your tawakkul on allah this universe belongs to allah this land in which you are living also belongs to allah whatever be the threats which firon is making nothing will work until allah does not will so have tawakkul and faith in allah and seek help from allah subhanahu wa taala and remain steadfast in the path of islam tum sabit qadam raho allah se madad chahte raho ye puri kainat allah hi ki hai ye zameen bhi bhi jahan tum baste ho ye bhi allah hi ke liye hai kuch nahi hone wala jab tak allah na chahe aur anjam kar aakhir kar parhezgaron ke liye hi hai the good end is only for the god fearing so for a believer it's a win win situation every time as long as they remain steadfast in the path of islam either they will get victory in this world और दे विल फेस मार्टियडम आई दे इट इज विक्ट्री फॉर देम या तो जो है उनको दुनिया में रहते हुए फला अल्लाह सुबह उनको अदा करेगा कामयाबी अदा फरमाएगा या उनकी शहादत होगी दोनों मामले एक मोमिन के लिए फायदा मंद है कामयाबी ही कामयाबी है खालू जीना मिन खबरी अंताती ना मे वमिन बादी मा जी थे ना खाला असार अबू कुम यूह लिखा दूबा कुम वयस तकलीफा कुम फिल अर्जी फैन जुरा के फता मलून they said who said the bani israel said u zina min qabl we had been persecuted from before antatiana that you had come to us from in badi majitana and from after what you have come to us i repeat they said we have been persecuted from before that you came to us and from after what you have come to us musa alayhi salam said asa rabbukum perhaps your lord and you like adu akum that he will destroy your enemy and make you successors in the land then he will observe how you behave or how you act unhone kaha humko aziyat di gayi thi isse pehle ke tu aaya hamare paas aur baad mein bhi jo tu aaya hamare paas musa alaihi salam ne kaha mumkin hai ke tumhara rab hilak kar de barbaad kar de tumhare dushman ko aur tumhe janishin banaye zameen mein फिर वो देखेगा कैसे तुम सुलूक करते हो या कैसे तुम अमल करते हो सो द बनी टोल मूसा इस्लाम वॉट डिफरेंस हैज इट मेड ऑफ योर कमिंग टू अस और अमंग्स अस क्या फर्क पड़ा तुम्हारे आने से तुम आने से पहले भी हमको अजियत दी, दी, दी गई थी हमको हम पर मजालिम ठाए जाते थे हम समझे तुम आने के बाद जो है हमको नजात मिलेगी इन तमाम मुसीबतों से लेकिन वही का वही मामला है this is impatience so the bani israel expressed the impatience before musa alayhi salam and said before you came to us also we were persecuted and oppressed what difference has it made your coming to us even after you have come to us the same matter is is happening to the extent that you have brought us from the frying pan into the fire you have complicated more matters for us see the answer that musa alayhi salam is giving asar rabbukum ayuhlika adubakum 
it is quite possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy this enemy of yours, namely the Firon. And he'll make you inherit or he'll make you successors in the land. You will become owners of Egypt. There's a possibility. Then after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see how you behave, whether you're going to be grateful to Allah for the blessing that he is going to confer on you or you're going to be ungrateful, Allah is going to see. You know, this is exactly the same pattern in our lives as well. مشکل کے وقت پہ ہم اللہ اللہ کرتے ہیں اللہ کو پکارتے ہیں اللہ سے التجا کرتے ہیں اللہ پر بھروسہ کرتے ہیں اللہ سے دعائیں کرتے ہیں اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہماری دعائیں کو سن کر وہ مصیبتوں کو ہم سے دور کر دیتا ہے لیکن اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی پھر جب ہمیں نعمتوں سے نوازتا ہے تو پھر اللہ ہماری آزمائش کرتا ہے پہلے پریشانی میں اللہ ہماری آزمائش کرا اور پھر بعد میں جو ہے پریشانی دور ہونے کے بعد بھی اللہ ہماری آزمائش کرے گا کہ اللہ کا پیٹرن وہ دیکھے گا کیسے تم سلوک کرتے ہو کیا تم اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ کا شکر بجا لیتے ہو یا کسی اور کا شکر کر کے اللہ سے ناشکری کرتے ہو بغاوت کرتے ہو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ دیکھ کر رہے گا ایٹ کرٹیکل ٹائمز اینڈ ڈیفیکلٹ سچویشن یو کال اپن اللہ اسٹینڈنگ سٹنگ لائنگ ڈاؤن ایٹ آل ٹائمس فار یو نو ایٹ دیٹ پوائنٹ آف ٹائم نو بڈی ہو کین سیو یو ایکسپٹ اللہ بٹ وین اللہ ریموو دیٹ پرابلم اینڈ دیٹ مس فارچون اور دیٹ کیلامٹی then Allah will observe whether you're giving credit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or giving credit to X, Y, and Z and being ungrateful to him or you're going to be totally negligent about him. Allah is going to see and observe. So a difficult situation also, Allah is testing us and when Allah confers his blessings also, he tests us. So uh, we are undergoing tests at every step of our lives. This should never be forgotten. وَلَقَدْ أَخَذْنَ عَلَىٰ فِرَوْنَا بِالسِّنِينَ وَنَقْسِ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ لَأَلَّهُمْ يَزَّكَّرُونَ فَإِذَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْحَسَنَةُ خَالُوا لَنَا هَذِهِ وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ يَتَّيَّرُوا بِمُوسَى وَمَنْ مَعَهُ أَلَا إِنَّمَا تُعَيْرُهُمْ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ أَكْسَرَهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And certainly we seized the people of Firon this sinin with years, with years means with years of drought. وَنَقْسَ مِنَ السَّمَرَةِ and loss of fruits لَعَلَّهُمْ يَزَّرْكُونَ So that they may pay heed or seek admonition. فَإِذَا جَاتْهُمُ الْحَسَنَةِ Then when came to them the good times, خَالُوا لَنَا حَازِي حَازِهِ They said for us this. And if befell them a misfortune, يَتَّيَّرُوا بِمُوسَى They ascribed evil omen to Musa and whoever with them. Allah, beware, only their evil omen with Allah and but most of them, la ya lamun, not they know. Or yakinan hamne pakar liya firon walon ko khayet sali se aur phalon ke nuksanat se taki wo nasiyat hasil kare. Phir jab aayin unke paas rahat, unho ne kaha, humare liya hi hai. Yani humare koshishon se hi aaya. Phir jab pahunchi un par koi musibat, to wo nahusat منصوب کے موسا اور اس کے ساتھ کے لوگوں کو یاد رکھو صرف ان کی نحوست اللہ کے ہاں ہے لیکن اکثر وہ نہیں جانتے سو ناؤ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ اسٹارٹس پوٹنگ دا پیپل آف فرون ان ٹو ڈفیکلٹیز ہارڈ شپس وی نو دس پیٹرن وچ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ اسپوک آف اٹ اینڈ وی اسٹڈیڈ اٹ اے کپل آف کلاسز ارلیا وی فرسٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سینس آل کائنڈ آف ڈفیکلٹیز اینڈ ہارڈ شپس That we saw Lallahum Yazzar Rahun so that they may humble themselves. We remember this word Lallahum Yazzar Rahun. <clears throat> but when they did not correct themselves or reform themselves, then what does Allah do? Then Allah removes that problem Hatta Iza Farihu until they rejoice. And then Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment comes all of a sudden and they are taken unawares without them even realizing that it has come. We studied all these verses earlier. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is illustrating that same point through this particular incident of <coughs> Firon. Wherein Allah says, now we put the people of Firon into difficulties and hardships. Unke azmaish ke hai. Un par jo hai sakh musibat hai. Aur un par jo hai khayt saali. Aur un par jo hai halon ke nuksanat se humne imtiyan liya. Ta ke wo islah kar le, nasiyat hasil kare. So that they may reform themselves. So that they may pay heed and correct themselves but when that didn't work what happened then after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up the doors of enjoyment 
And whenever the problem comes, they'll immediately say, oh, this is because of Musa alayhi salam. This is an account of those people who accepted Islam. Allah says, don't ascribe all these problems to Musa alayhi salam or the believers. These problems have come on account of your own misdeeds. But this is something which you don't seem to be understanding. Further, Allah says, وَخَالُوا مَحْمَا تَعْتِنَا بِهِ مِنْ آيَةِ لِتَسْحَرَنَا بِهَا فَمَا نَحْنُ لَكَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And they said, Mahma Tatina, whatever you have brought to us with it of the sign. Yeah, the sign refers to the miracle. Litas harana biha, that you may enchant us with it. Then not we are to you going to be believers. Farsan alihimu tufana, wal jarada, wal kummala, wad dafadia, wad dama, ayatim mufasalat, fastak baru wakanu khamam, mujrimin. Then we sent upon them tufan, floods, wal jarad, and locusts, wal kummala, and lice, wad dafadia, and frogs, wad dama, and blood. As signs clear or evident. But they showed arrogance and they were a people, Mujrimin criminals. Then we have been able to get the Tufan, or Tidya, or Juen, or Mendak, or Khun, and the Nishanyon. But we have been able to get the Tidya, and we have been able to get the Tidya. So earlier, two signs Sinina, years of drought. Loss of fruits. And now these five here. Two plus five, seven. Another two coming up. Totally this ayatin. Nine signs were shown to the people of Firon so that they may accept Islam. But none of them, none of those signs made any difference to them. Ultimately, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drowned them and destroyed them altogether. Walamma waqa alayhimu ridsu khalu ya Musa dulana rabbaka bima ahida indak. Lain kashafta anna ritsa lanu minanna laka wa lanu silanna maaka bani Israel. Falamma kashafta anhumu ritsa ila ajalan hum baliguhu iza hum yan kuthun. And when befell upon them, rits means the punishment. And when befell upon them the punishment, they said, O Musa, invoke for us to your Lord with what he has covenanted with you. Lain kashafta, surely if you remove from us the punishment, lanu minanna laka, surely we will believe in you and surely we shall send with you the children of Israel. Falamma kashafna anhumurits, then when they, then when we remove from them the punishment, then when we remove from them the punishment towards a term which they had to reach it, behold they, yan kusun, broke their promise. Or jab, آپ پہنچی ان پر سزا انہوں نے کہا اے موسیٰ دعا کرو ہمارے لئے آپ کے رب سے اس پر جو تم نے اہد لیا ہے اس کے ہاں ضرور اگر تو دور کر دے گا ہم سے یہ سزا یا ایک مصیبت ضرور ہم ایمان لائیں گے تجھ پر اور ضرور ہم بھیج دیں گے تیرے ساتھ بنی اسرائیل کو پھر جب ہم نے دور کر دیا ان سے یہ عذاب ایک مقررہ وقت جس کو ان کو پہنچنا تھا پھر وہ اپنے وعدے کے وعدہ شکنی کے اہد شکنی کے یا انہوں نے اپنے وعدے کو توڑ دیا so every time they came with a request to Musa alayhi salam oh there are so many locusts we are unable to live our crops are getting destroyed please do dua to Allah to remove this problem we will immediately accept whatever you say and we will even give away Bani Israel to you or hand over Bani Israel to you and also believe in you when that was removed they broke the promise again they came back to Musa alayhi salam and told him, Oh, there are lice everywhere. Juhay hain, sab jaga juhay hain. Sar par, jism par, khetiyo mein, kapro mein, sab jaga juhay hain. Please do dua to Allah to remove it. Again, the problem went, they broke their promise. Then again, it was frogs. Frogs everywhere. In their beds, in their houses, in their vehicles. In every nook and corner, only frogs and frogs and frogs. Same thing. Then there was blood everywhere. You open the tap, blood would come out. Water turned into blood. 
every time they could see around them was only blood and blood and blood so all these were some of those powerful signs which allah subhanahu wa taala sent on the people of firaun to make them understand that this is the power of allah but yet they were mujrimin they were arrogant people wastakbaru wakanu qauma mujrimin they were arrogant people they were criminals they were not prepared to accept and come around fan takhamna minhum fa agrakhnahum fil yammi bi annahum kazzabu bi ayatina wa kanu anha ghafilin then we took retribution from them then we drowned them in the sea because they denied bi ayatina in our signs and they were from it ghafilin heedless phir humne intikham liya unse phir humne gharakh kar diya unko samandar mein be sabab unhone jhutlaya hamari nishaniyon ko aur wo the usse ghafil وسبرنی allati barakna fiha which we blessed in it and was fulfilled the word of your lord in the best manner over the children of israel because they remained steadfast wadammarna and we destroyed what they used to make or manufacture firon and his people and what they used to yarishun erect erect means erect tall structures aur humne waris bana diya un logon ko jo kamzor samjhe jate the زمین کے مشرق اور مغربی حصے میں جس کو ہم نے برکت سے نوازا تھا اس میں اور پوری ہو گئی بات آپ کے رب کی بہترین طریقے سے بنی اسرائیل پر بے سبب جو انہوں نے استقامت کے ساتھ رہے اور ہم نے درہم برہم کر دیا یا برباد کر دیا جو کچھ ہلاک کر دیا جو کچھ انہوں نے بناتے تھے فرون اور اس کی قوم اور جو کچھ وہ تعمیریں بڑی بڑی تعمیریں تعمیر کرتے تھے یا بڑی بڑی عمارتیں تعمیر کرتے تھے so finally came the end of firon and all his people who were arrogant who were criminal by nature who were oppressors who were unjust their term was completed and they were totally destroyed and everything whatever they had erected and those tall structures and those pyramids and all those great great things which they had made and were boasting about their power all came to an end and finally who became the inheritors the bani israel became its inheritors and allah subhanahu wa taala also gave bani israel an opportunity to live in palestine which allah subhanahu wa taala made that city most prosperous for them all because they remained steadfast in the path of islam and this is the big big message for you and i that come what may whatever be the difficulties whatever be the situation whatever be the examination and the tests and tribulations and trials we may undergo in life never lose hope in allah continue to supplicate to him they may not you may not even see a ray of hope but that's what iman is all about dur dur tak jo hai tumko kuch bhi ummeed ke kiran nazar nahi aayenge yakin lekin yahi yakeen hai yahi iman hai us zat par to kaise bhi halat ho kaise bhi mushkil terin halat ho allah hi se par tawakkul rakhe allah hi par bharosa rakhe دین اسلام پر ثابت قدم رہے اللہ ہی کو پکارے اللہ ہی سے مدد چاہے اور اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی کے احکامات پر یقین رکھے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی جلد سے جلد اس مصیبت سے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی نجات دے گا یہ اللہ کی سنت رہی اینڈ دس از سم تھنگ وچ از ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ فار اس دے شوڈ ناٹ بی اینی ایلیمنٹ آف ہیسٹ اور ڈیسپریٹنس or lost in hope in Allah's mercy. None of this should be there. At the same time, we must do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to attest us beyond our capacity. And a beautiful dua at the end of Surah Baqarah is the ideal dua for all of us. And this beautiful dua that we saw even today, Rabbana afriq alayna sabra wa tawaffana muslim. And all these are some of the powerful duas. Please memorize them, mark them and keep it. These are the opportunities in the class that we get to see those excellent authentic duas in the Quran which have a lot of power in them. Allah only teaches these duas and when a true believer supplicates to Allah in the same words what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us, it has more power. But provided we recite it, understanding it with consciousness and having total faith in what we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Allah will definitely grant us victory and success in this world and the hereafter. Looking forward to inshallah seeing you tomorrow, same time with the rest of the verses coming up. Don't miss the class, kindly be regular. I think enough of your holidays and all that outings and the classes that we missed. Get back to the class and make sure you don't miss it. Even if you have missed the classes, there's nothing to worry about. You can always catch up. May Allah SWT make it easy for all of us and keep us consistent and steadfast in utilizing this opportunity to study the book of Allah in order that we may be granted success in this world and the year after. Ameen. Wa'afiddawan and alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Subhanallahi wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu Allahi lahi lanta. Nastaghfiru kawna tuhu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.